Imagine this, nukes and weld bot being rolled into your factory. It's amazing and easy to set up. It's gonna take around five minutes to plug it into three phase, connects to Argo Shield Light, lower down the stabilizers on the wheels, and switch it on. Be welded in no time. So we rolled it into place and it took minutes to set up. But before we do a weld test to show you how easy it is to program and use, I'm just gonna quickly go over the key features. So it has a 400 amp inverter type MIG welder, which is super high quality with a very high duty cycle. The top made from eight millimeter steel, and it has these at 120 millimeter centers, so you can fix in jigs for repeatable jobs. The robot can be put in any position and it can work outside of the table boundary too. Lights both sides, they run on a 24 volt system and they're super bright, really high quality too. So it definitely lights up whatever you're gonna be doing. The side panels have an anti-reflective panel on the inside. We'll cover this in more detail shortly, but it's the full touchscreen controller where you program the robot and it's super easy to do. That does fold round to store neat away. Hooks on the side to easily hang the cables and the earth clamp if you need to clamp external trolleys or external workbenches. MIG welding wire, 25 kg spool, and the wire feed is set nicely here. The back panel's nice and flat, so it's easy you can tuck it up against the wall or back to back if you wanted two of these. It's really versatile where you put, put and place this. Everything's integral, all the wires are covered, it's all ready to go as a modular unit that can be forklift or moved around in your factory anywhere you wish to put it. This is the splatter drawer, so anything that falls through goes in this drawer. So I'm going to set up and show you exactly what we're going to be doing and testing. I'm going to make the program now and it's only going to take minutes. So remember, we just rolled this in here like 10 minutes ago, plugged it in, shot this video. and Now this is a new product which we're going to program and do on here, which we've never done before. So it's going to be live on camera. This is a jig. We used to use this on our manual desk, which has the same pattern, and that's where we'd manually weld. But now we're gonna run this job on the cobot. So jig goes on and we bolt that up to the table. So we can take our bracket, put it in the build jig. That clips in there nice. And then we're gonna do a seam weld down there and down on the other side. So now I'm gonna quickly show you how to program and how easy it is. So I have really genius guys here at Nukeson who can program this and run this with their eyes closed. Me, I'm a bit of a novice. I've had short training, about 15 minutes. I'm gonna have a go now to show you how easy it is. And hopefully I get it right, I'm sure I will. So we've come over to the Teach Pendant and the Touchscreen Controller. So we're just gonna press Create, a new job. We're gonna call it T-I-O, Enter. Arc job, this relates to the world parameters. So this is like a craft table that are preset. So it will come with some basic parameters. 20 is a weld down, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we press save, and then we're as simple as that. Then we have options here, which weld type. So we want a linear template. We push that, and it populates all the weld spec and information. So all we need to do now, we come to the robot, we push the free button, this goes blue. Now it's free to move anywhere you wish. All we do, we're going to go to the start point of our weld, which is right at the top. So this is man manual, manual welding guy. We want to set it up right about there, where you would generally start. About 10 millimeters off, maybe slightly less. We lock it in place. Then we press the point button. So then we press this point button, and that will save that point on the controller. Then we press free again and we're going to go to where the weld would end. So you can see, we want the weld to end there. So we simply move it down to the start of the weld. So where do you want the weld to start? And for us, it's going to be right here. We want that 90 degree perpendicular to it. Remember, I'm a novice. So I want the weld to start there. So we press the free button, which locks it in place. This goes green. Then we press the point button. And then we'll press free again to go down. And that'll be to where we want the weld to end. I want the weld to stop there. So we'll press free, it'll lock it. Then we press point. Obviously that's where the welder will stop. And then after that, we want to make it free. We want the weld to come back up to the top and wait, so we press free, 
and point. So it's going to weld that side, weld that side, then come back and stop there. And that will wait for us to take that out of the jig and put another one in. So we're going to put the welding mask on, check my parameters there, and then we're going to go for it. I've got my welding hat on. We've a turn the gas on and now all we're going to do, we'll press play here. We have a start welding confirmation and you can see the robot springs into action. A beautiful weld. And then it jumps over like we programmed. You're going to see it weld this side. So you can see exactly how the weld come out. And that's a repeatable weld. Now our program that, you see how easy that was. Now, an operator can do this job. As a business, you don't necessarily need to have a skilled MIG welder to do that. Any guy will be able to insert that in a jig and push start. We all need to future-proof our business and this could be a way to do it. The tech is getting better and the quality of the workforce in technical skills, we could argue that it's getting less and it's harder to find people that can weld. So if you're on a repeatable solution that can pump out the perfect welds every day, look no further than the Nukes and Weldbot that we assemble and integrate in the UK.